Dr. Ida Scudder, the founder of CMC Velour, a young astonishing woman who brought new hope and dignity to women in South India, giving them the benefits of modern medicine which was previously denied to them by cultural barriers. Dr. Ida fought ignorance, superstition, poor hygiene and infectious diseases which prevailed in India. She owns up the full credit of opening up the healthcare professions to women from all backgrounds, encouraging families to allow their daughters to train as nurses and doctors. She made sure that CMC was at the forefront of introducing new treatments and acquiring the latest equipment. Be it India's first heart transplant, first kidney transplant, first bone marrow transplant, opening up first rehabilitation center, serving as first working model for eradicating polio worldwide, first reconstructive surgery for leprosy, bringing a significant change in eradicating leprosy, and even impacting international researchers as well. Credit goes to this outstanding institution, CMC Velour, which was founded by Dr. Ida. She always believed in the significance of research and development and always encouraged it. Dr. Ida Sophia Scudder was a third generation American medical missionary in India, born in Ranipet. Growing up in Tamil Nadu at that time, she had seen famine, diseases and poverty all over. After graduation in a private Christian boarding school in the US, her passionate concern for the women of India sprang from the night when she witnessed three women dying due to lack of female gynecologists. Three men sought her aid, helping their wives in childbirth. But those men refused to allow male physicians due to orthodox customs that prevailed during those times. Watching helplessly, this rebellious teenager at that moment desired to become a doctor. Scudder committed herself to provide Indian women with medical education and care, eventually earning a medical degree from Weill Cornell Medical College in 1899. She lived up to her commitment for the next 70 years. After her degree, Dr. Ida returned to India and began her work. She pointed out to the needs of hospitals for women and children in Velu. She opened her first hospital, Mary Tabar Shell Hospital in 1902, with 40 beds raising funds from the US. That tiny clinic has grown into CMC Velour, one of India's most prestigious private hospitals and medical schools now. She opened the first college of nursing in India, since she believed that it would be the first step in making a drastic change in healthcare. Dr. Ida believed that women could achieve equal to men in medical studies and clinical proficiency, and as well, excel in leadership, even in toughest times. In 1909, she started her famous roadside dispensaries that expanded throughout the years to help thousands and thousands of patients, even today. In 1918, she started a medical school for women, which eventually changed to a co-educational institute providing MBBS degree to what is now called as Christian Medical College Velu, the dream college for all medical aspirants, making many allied doctors who save the needy effortlessly. Dr. Ida Scudder is famous as the founder of Christian Medical College and its accomplishments. But her legacy is far greater than that. This great lady who became a doctor by chance had an exemplary dedication and planned working. A truly amazing doctor grows through from what they have gone through.